Hopefully everybody's doing well this morning and thank you for being here even though it's Memorial Day. I know a lot of y'all got plans to barbecue and all that fun stuff. Go to the park, spend time with family. A lot of people off are off from nine to five, but we do understand that we are never on vacation from our mind from nine to five. So this is why we're still here the morning mindset call. So don't forget to share this with somebody, right? Uh, just give them the link. There's no password. They don't need to uh, join no cameras. Get somebody who you feel as can use a good message today, right? And today, we just wanted to talk about uh, just being, you know, the importance of identity and self-awareness, but within that, just becoming the beast that you are the monster that you are in the space that you are in, the space you want to control, the space you want to grow in, right? I was watching a just to just to make it relatable, right? I was watching a movie uh last night. So you know the movie Doom. I don't know if any of y'all movie buffs or watch movies or anything like that, but I was watching the movie Doom Part One. I mean, part two just came out, so I just watched part one, right? And the thing about uh, this guy, his name is Paul. He's going through this journey, right? And sometimes when I look at movies, I don't look at movies just for the entertainment of things, but I also learn things from movies, right? And in this movie, he really had to identify, like, who he was no he had to sorry it it was a twofold right he had to identify who was he trained to be and then he was he had to identify who he was training to become right and sometimes that's two different people right we we go through our experiences we go through the beliefs that were set in us we go through you know, all this training and everything like that, but it was really like a journey of self-discovery and embracing your true identity, right? Understanding something like who we are, which essentially like our heritage and then our potential, right? Which which becomes the fundamental of our personal development and fulfill- fulfillment. So that is why we're here as well with these mindset calls. So we're sitting here and we feed you all these things, right? And and we'll go through my list today, but we're feeding you all these things in your mind. Some of it is fighting against who you were, right? Or fighting against what you, some of the things that you were taught to believe in. Right. And sometimes we got to fight and make a new belief and and from there decide, decide who we want to become, because in order in order to become the person we want to become. Right. One lesson that the movie gave is that somebody else must die and that somebody else is within us. Right. And when that dies, we become the person we want to become or have to become then that monster is brought out of us and then we can definitely learn from nature and life like how to become these certain things and how it's relatable to our life but before we deep dive in that i will start with the video today and from there then we'll go through the text of what i've written for today You should be a monster. Because everyone says, well, you should be harmless. You don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to be too assertive. You want to take a back seat. No. You should be a monster. And then you should learn how to control it. The definition of being aggressive is forceful and sometimes overly assertive pursuit of one's aims. In combat, 
almost nothing will happen the way you want it to if you don't force it that way the enemy nature time there's all kinds of things that that are going against you it's a losing battle and if you don't use force of will then then you're not going to get it done what it means is is you need to make things happen this is the good thing about being aggressive sure there's there's certain parts of your nature that are aggressive but it can also be trained you can start to think with an aggressive mindset which is i am going to take action i'm going to overcome obstacles i'm going to push through roadblocks i'm not going to take no for an answer and th those are things that you can train there's so often times where people they get told no or they hit an obstacle and it's game over for them they're just done they're done training they're over it and your attitude you have to go okay little little roadblock cool how am i going to get through it? how am i getting around it what i need you to do is evaluate yourself today evaluate yourself to see where you are in this race of life many of you don't even realize that you've been racing to the finish line this life is a race some of you need to be pushed to start running because you've been walking or you haven't been moving for so long and you don't even know that you're in a race that all of us are competing to win but it doesn't matter where you finish it matters that you run after your goals and your dreams the way to live is to run after your dreams to run after your goals and to run after that finish line there may be things in your life right now that's holding you back from running but you have to break through those things. They're there to hinder you, but you can't let it force you to stop running. Chase your dreams, chase your goals. I don't know the situation you're in right now, but the situation that you're in is not your future. It's not who you really are. It's not your full potential. The sky's the limit. But it all starts from the big. It's all up to you. You should be a monster. You have to be hungry for greatness. You got to go through it to get to it. You got to understand that there are going to be many circumstances that will require your full, undivided attention. You got to go through it to get to it. You have to understand it has to be a unique mindset. Setting a goal and then going beyond it. Realizing that there's work to be done making sure that all of the strings are attached and make no mistake along the way now it's true that we all make mistakes and we will have many setbacks but there's always room for a comeback to understand this, you must realize that you must humble yourself, but yet be hungry enough to go after it with everything inside of you. Everything that is required depends on you. Having the mindset that regardless of anything that is around you, that is surrounding you, that is trying to drag you down, you must have the mindset you must be strong you must be resilient you must be driven and you must be able to take whatever's coming at you if you stumble if you fall have the ability to get up but you can't depend on just your body to do the work you must understand that it's a mental fortitude that will get you through it all so many people don't have this fortitude 
They don't have this attitude. They have no faith in themselves. If you, you as the individual, can take the first step, then perhaps many more will follow. There's always going to be ups and downs in life, man. There's always going to be bumps in the road. Things that ain't going to go as planned. Unexpected stuff's going to happen. You're going to face some pain. You're going to face some tough times. And if you ain't trained your mind to be prepared for it and how to handle it, it's going to break you. The secret is to work on your mindset daily. Work on the way that you see the world. Otherwise, you'll live your whole life seeing the world through someone else's eyes. You'll be a creature of circumstance. You'll be a victim of your life and not the master of it. Read books, listen to audios like this one. Start learning about why you do the things that you shouldn't do and why you don't do the things that you should. It's all because of the way that thing between your ears is white. But know this, you're in control of rewiring it whenever you make the decision to do so. At any moment, you can take control back of your life and start creating the life that you deserve, not a life that someone else has paved out for you. And when all of the struggle comes, all of the bad times, all of the dark times come around, which they inevitably will, you'll be strong enough to take it head on and it will make you rather than break you. You have greatness inside you, let me tell you. Unlimited potential. But you have to train your mind. Every single day, things are going to happen outside of your control. The weather, terrorism, coronavirus. But you can't control any of that shit. All you can control is how you choose to look at situations. You can control the information that you're letting in here. Never forget that you can have anything in this life that you want if you're willing to go and get it. You've got to have belief. You've got to have belief, and that belief comes from working on your mindset every single day. Remember this. You can be a victim of your life or the master of it. You could be a victim of your life or a master of it. And that's why, or oh, that's at least one of the reasons why we're here on this mindset call, right? Because we're here to master our life. We're here to take control of our life. We're not here to become a creature of somebody else paving the way for our life. And that's why, or that's one of the reasons why we're here in this mindset call because we want to feed into you. We want to pour into you. We want you to take control of your life. And that does not have to directly affect me personally or anybody who speaks or anybody on this call, but it will directly affect your family, your future, and who you're going to become. And we're helping to instill some of that in you. Right? So some of the things that I've written down for uh, to becoming this beast and this monster and some animals we can take from, right? So I'm going to start with a quote and then tell you what animal it refers to, right? But Gandhi once said that adaptability is not limitation. It means power of resistance and assimilation, right? So we learn the adaptability from the chameleon. Right. And, and tap, tap, tap into your spirit animal. Right. As I'm talking to you on who or what animal you most resemble with, if not these something else that can either encompass all of these or something else and learn about that animal, why you feel tied to that. animal, and What can you learn from that spirit, your spirit animal? Right. So adaptability comes from the chameleons. Right. So chameleons are masters of adaptability, right? Because they change their skin color to blend into their surroundings, protecting themselves from predators and, and catching prey more effectively, right? So adaptability can come from both sides to protect you and to attack, right? And an attack in, in our case is just different things, whether it be like the work uh, the work uh, force, whether it be business, life, right? So in our fast-paced world, 
adaptability is very crucial, whether it's sudden change at work or unexpected life events, our, our ability to adapt can help us thrive, right? So just like the chameleon, we, we should be flexible and ready to adjust to new circumstances, right? Because we never know we never know what's going to happen or what's going to come up. So we have to be able to pivot. There's a lot of things in life, business, work, family that we must learn how to pivot, right? And again, going, going back, like whether it's to attack or to protect, we must be able to, to pivot, right? Whether it's to take action or not to take action, Right, we must be adaptable and be able to do those in different circumstances. Right. And then the next animal, right? The quote is alone we can do so little, and together we can do so much, which means teamwork. And teamwork we learn from the ant, right? So ants exemplify one of the most powerful teamworks in the world, right? These tiny insects work together seamlessly, each playing a specific role, right? That, that's a big key. Each playing a specific role to ensure the survival and success and success of their colony, right? So in our personal and professional lives, working collaboratively can lead to greater achievements by valuing each team member's contributions and working towards a common goal we can accomplish more, much more than we could do alone, right? So when you're working with a team, it's very important to identify roles because we often try to do everything ourselves, whether it's business or personal lives, we don't want to delegate. And I get it, right? Because our experiences and our thought process is like, they're not going to do it like me. They're not going to do it how I want it to be done, but we must understand that we have to understand people's roles. And sometimes we give people too many roles versus the one role they're really good at, right? Again, in business or in life, or in personal life, that or work, we could say work as well, right? That those managers who give somebody a task, but it's not their role, right? Because we have to wear many hats. You can't expect people to deliver as you want them to deliver outside of their role even though i understand we must multitask but when we get a big team and each does their role right then it shows the completion of of something great and something massive and that's why working together is very very important and having a team is very important right working as a team right and then the next animal is uh, Winston Churchill actually wrote this or said this, is that success is not final, failure is not fatal, and it is the courage to continue that counts. And the animal we learn this from is the salmon. And the salmon represents persistence, right? Because salmon demonstrates incredible, incredible persistence because they swim upstream against strong currents and leap over obstacles to, to reach their uh, breeding grounds driven by the instinctual needs to reproduce, right? So life often presents us, presents us with challenges that seem like they cannot be overcome. But however, if we show persistence and determination, like the salmon, we can overcome obstacles and reach our goals no matter how tough the journey might be right so swim if anybody who are swimmers already know that swimming against the current is one of the hardest things you could do right one of the hardest things you could do but you should know that even though you're swimming against the current you're still making headway in reaching your your goal or that destination it may take you a little longer, but that's where the persistence comes in. Because through life, right, we, we have to keep it real. There will be obstacles. There will be things that slow us down. There's there's things that 
we say we want to do in a week and it may take two, it may take eight days, it may take a month or a year. But the whole point of it is that you're taking the small steps and actions to get towards that. So I, we don't want you in the mindset that it's not happening or it's not happening fast enough. I might as well quit. Right. That's where the persistence comes in. You have to keep pushing. You have to keep going. Have to, have to. Right. And the next one is the next quote is the most important resource we have is our mind. I chose this quote on purpose, right? Because we hear a mindset call, right? And when we when uh the animal that re, that relates to resourcefulness is the squirrel, right? Because anybody who don't know about squirrels, they're incredibly incredibly resources i i for those who know it don't know like i live in new york and there's a whole bunch of squirrels here right not not in a bad way or infestation but these squirrels are the most resourceful resourceful people right and just funny thought just think about ice age right that squirrel had that one nut for those who watch um ice age the movie cartoon movie had this one nut throughout the whole show because they are resourceful and they're go-getters, right? So for those who don't know that squirrels gather and store food throughout the whole year, preparing for the scarcity of winter, right? So being resourceful means making the most of what we have and preparing for future either uncertainties or knowing what's coming. So whether it's make it more relatable. So whether it's saving money, acquiring new skills, finding creative solutions to solve problems, right? Resourcefulness helps us navigate through these difficult times. So that's why like, whether it's people or whether it's something materialistic or, right, the intangible thing, whether it's this mindset call, right? Some people may think, hey, this is not relating to me right now, but taking this information, having this information, when something arises, this is one resource that you will have your mind, because it will always be with you, to overcome or to share with somebody when that time arises. So it's so that's why I like, some things on this mindset call, right, may relate to you, may be a reminder, or may be new. We don't know where you are at your life or how long you've been here, but now you're getting the reminder here over and over again, right? Just like when you're at your job or in your business, some things become repetitive, but then it strengthens you. That's a good thing to know, too. It strengthens you. So it strengthens you for what's to come. So with the squirrel, they know winter is coming. And some, some of us know challenges are coming and we don't prepare for them, right? So the squirrel knows winter is coming, so it knows to start storing food and when, right? So for us, if we know the challenges are coming, start preparing for them, right? Because they're not going to go away. If when, Because we don't know some challenges are coming up, we prepare ourselves for those challenges. And the small example I gave earlier is just saving money, right? Because a tire may pop one day or there might be a medical emergency or, you know, so, something's coming up that you forgot about. Saving money will be that lifeboat for you to overcome that and so many other things, right? And then the last animal I'll leave you with, first the quote is, balance is, some, is not something you find, it's something you create. And the animal that resonates with the with balance is the eagle, right? The bald eagle. Eagles balance, if you don't know, eagles balance their time between hunting, nurturing their kids, and resting, right? They soar high with a broad perspective, but swoop down when they need to focus on a specific task, right? So finding balance in our life between work, family, personal time, business, and everything else you got going on is essential for, of course, your well-being. So like the eagle, we should strive to maintain a broad perspective on our goals while also giving attention to the immediate 
task at hand. For those who ever like coach with me or coach with one of the people who talk with here with us um, on this call, we always say make a calendar, right? Know what's important, not important, and give give each of those things time, whether it's family, significant other, your job, your business, your travel, time to read, time to relax. Like the broad perspective is I need to do all these things. But the laser focus is, is that, okay, I need to be with my family. I'm going to give them two hours of uninterrupted time. I need to sleep. I'm doing that five hours un uninterrupted time. I need to do business. I'm going to give it two hours uninterrupted time. And that's the laser focus um, that you need to give, right? So from all these animals uh, that I just mentioned, and of course, there's so many out there, right? On the adaptability, the teamwork, the persistence, the resourcefulness, and the balance, right? Start observing and emulating some of these behaviors. So this way we can enhance our own lives na and navigate through getting better and the challenges more effectively because once because things don't get easier right we just get better at life we get stronger at life and this is the wisdom that i just want to bestow to you today ladies and gentlemen stay great stay awesome we love you happy moral day uh whatever you do um be safe out there and wherever you're at in the world stay present